What is up? We clicked on here again with another tarot reading. So, I have shuffled the cards for a while, each deck. <clears throat> and I'm going to shuffle more. There are no visuals at this time. It's the best that I can do right now. That sound is <laughs> that sound is a good old puppy dog drinking water. If you can hear it. I'm going to just read what I see. This is an intuitive reading, so I'm using several decks. I'm using the deck right now that I've written over the years. They're just one word. But I know what that word means to me since I wrote them. Just plain index card. This reading is for whoever it resonates with at any time. If you're a subscriber, I thank you. And I appreciate your time. Respect your time. Spirit, I ask that you guide these cards in the name of the greater good of all beings, in the most benevolent love, the most compassionate love. Let this reading not be hindered by any energies or entities that are looking to interfere. Archangel Michael, I call upon you to shield me with your golden light shield. Thank you. And if anyone listening wants to also be shielded by Archangel Michael's shield, just say yes out loud right now. And Michael will shield you. Angels never impose. Sometimes they do miracles, but they never impose against God's will, which is that you have your own free will. So saying yes confirms to the angels that you're willing to receive their protection, guidance, love, energy, blessing, healing, etc. This reading is for anyone who hears it whenever they hear it. If it resonates with you, you'll know within the first few minutes. <clears throat> Across the globe, we're starting with with speaking about the macro, the larger scale. We're thinking about the earth right now, the planet and everyone on it. There's a lot of movement away from God, goddess, divine, in the minds of human beings. There's a lot of blame being put on race. There's a lot of people waking up to the reality of our society becoming very narcissistic. An epidemic of many broken, and not just broken, but toxified people. And as a whole, it's becoming more difficult to be sincere to be real and we all are connected across this globe through psychic energies and molecules of light and water and we feel the same vibrations from the earth and the sun and all the planets we're connected to our ancestors 
and it looks as though the part of the real issue is the loss. The losses have become so full of grief. There's so much grief in the inner world. There's been a lot of death and release and letting go. Finding newness after going through this healing process will be the lifeline for us. There's a card here I wrote for XOXO Goddess Dragon Girl, one of my favorite tarot readers. Uh, she's a Capricorn and is an inspiration. So she just came up, which means she, her energy is with me because I, I am a part of her tribe uh, online. And so I'm thinking of Goddess Dragon Girl right now. She's really great if, if you ever want to check out a different reader, totally different kind of reader than me, but also Capricorn. I think some people really need to find a place of, they can call home and some people, it's like there's people who are looking for vacations and palm trees and there's people who have no home and are just trespassing everywhere they go. So there's a juxtaposition in the social constructs. The previous contract I have made with lower energy in order to stay safe is void. The previous contract I have made with lower energies in order to stay safe is void. All of the previous contracts that I have made with lower energies in order to stay safe are now void. Oh yeah. Escapism, aggression, beliefs, agreements, contracts, misunderstandings, challenges, challenging your beliefs, escaping from the aggression, misunderstanding, agreements, needing to let go I I let I let you go I let you a letting go of the vices there's PTSD I think is something that is it comes up a lot with the card my cards in my card deck I have like I think I have like, oh, it's got to be close to over, it's got to be over 70 index cards with words on them that I'm pulling right now. Something coming up with uh, the card PTSD, which to me I know about because I live with it. And I also believe in my research and my studies through listening and reading um, a lot of authors who are uh, psychologists, psychotherapists, doctors, uh, PhDs, um, experts that say that the human race actually is, is, has a collective form of PTSD, which means we're kind of born into an overreactive nervous system because of the trauma of life that humans have experienced over the last few thousand years <clears throat> there's a belief that there was a great cataclysm at one point where um, there was so much uh, tragedy that our gene our genes our genetics are actually still carrying some of those memories <clears throat> saying no is coming up and saying no when we're talking about PTSD especially it's really important because you have to say no to yourself when you're healing from this or with this because I don't think it ever really goes away saying no to boundaries being 
broken or bent in ways that are unhealthy for yourself. And letting go of old karma, like I said, some of it isn't yours, but it's been passed on to you. And we must learn how to navigate. The spirit is, I'm feeling a lot of tightness in my chest right now when I'm speaking of it, probably because for me, I, I have my own experiences with this. It says, not a game, help wanted, clean house. And the question, what if? How are we answering the question, what if? Life is like a game, but it's not a game. And there are things in life that are not a game. For example, being responsible for a child's life is not a game. And it looks like some people need some help. Either you're looking for work or people are looking for help wanting to help and also needing to ask for help maybe cleaning your house literally is something that cleans your soul as you move pieces around and remove debris you find it easier to let go of the old karma, the memory of yesterday, cleaning your house, cleaning your mind, cleaning your soul, so that you make room to be able to feed your soul or make space for your soul to come home. When you're asking what if about the future, the spirit saying hope it's good to at least have some hope hope is not necessarily the best vibration but it's better than despair and so hope is a, is a step up towards knowing it's a step up towards experiencing it's a step up towards self-realization <clears throat> like Goddess Dragon always talks about. And hope will pull you out of darkness towards a brighter future. <clears throat> a lot of us are knowing that this thing that's going on either in our life individually or just around us or in society is what we had thought. And so something are surprising but a lot of things are not it's like a progression one two three some people are very empathic and have felt this coming and some people have tried to stop it or want to stop it or maybe there's something about feeling so much and saying no to be able to stop the old karma there's a lot of psychic energy, people experiencing feelings and sensations that may not even be originated from themselves other than a part of themselves reflecting upon what's around them because you can only reflect. If it's not in you at all, you wouldn't experience it. So it's, it's not that it's not yours, but it's not all yours. It's magnified. And that's what happens when someone is experiencing psychic energy. It looks like whew, I'm like feeling a lot of energy now in my stomach. Um, it's making my it's making it hard to speak for some reason. Abuse in reverse. Abuse can hinder your psychic abilities. It causes static in the mind. Verbal abuse. I'm not making this up. These are the cards out of at least 70 cards. These are the cards that are coming out. I'm not looking at them and picking them. They're, they're coming out on their own. 
and I see static energy from abuse is hindering psychic energy. So it could be also abuse can be psychic energy as well. It, it's, it's rhythmic and it can change your brain waves just like music. Having faith in your ability or knowing that you cannot have faith in something is also important to know that it's not at all what you need to have faith in. Breaking out, I see coyote. Listen to coyote. Listen to coyote. Yeah, the shield is coming up. It's time to pick up the shield. Amen. Okay. So, these energies are what are going on in the collective. Um, also, all of us are influencing it. Of course, including me. I'm definitely <laughs> surprised by some of those cards coming out. Um, but then again, I'm not. So, I'm moving on to another deck. We're at 16 minutes and 27 seconds. 16, 27, 1, 6 is 7, 2, 7 is 9, 7 and 9, 79, 7 and 9 are both transformative numbers, 7 being the lucky number 7, but also a decision, a big decision, a change in in uh, consciousness. Seven is big opportunity, big change, or something very intentional. Nines are transformative, coming back around onto oneself to make a a loop, not a circle. A loop is when it comes crossing upon yourself, making the cross, the cross, a cross. Some people wear crosses. Some people don't like to see the cross. Some people are comforted by it and other people are disturbed by it. But nevertheless, nine becomes the crossing upon oneself before you become whole, before the loop is closed. What you know is your own sensitivity. Your feelings are what create everything inside of you and help you create. So being jaded and insensitive, you know, will make your creativity dwindle. The more you become jaded, more callous, more disconnected, the harder it is to create, do your art, or share in connection in a creative way. Someone is needing emotional healing. And as their heart heals from the old emotional pain, they will receive blessings. Someone is looking at traveling very soon. It could be an internal journey or it could be an actual traveling. I feel if it is, it's going to be a real trip, trip and a half. It proves to be life changing in a positive way, no matter what kind of travel we're speaking of. Something you don't know is that you might hear some very unhappy news. I'm sorry to say. It's important to write things down at this time. If that is the case for you, if you end up hearing some unhappy news, Spirit's asking you to write down your feelings, the thoughts, the timing, the timeline, the ideas you have from it. Uh, it could be happy news too. 
Um, you could be receiving a prayer coming through that you've made in the past. But it might feel weird. 